Hi, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video, another episode of Skin Talk with Sara. It's been a while, I know. Been a hot minute that I have done a Skin Talk episode. It's because my skin was going through a lot of changes ever since I started going back to my internship, back to the hospital, and wearing mask full time. I have been suffering from severe maskne, and that is recurrent acne because of my mask. Uh, you all can see I sit bare face for my Skin Talk videos. You all can see I have a lot of acne marks currently that. I'm dealing with but I have successfully dealt with the acne issue and for that I have tried a lot of things and some of which has worked and some of which has stuck by me and it's something that I swear by so that is what I'm going to share with you in today's video if this is the first time you're coming here and you don't know this then I'm a skincare junkie a skincare enthusiast and I'd love to share raw and real skincare with you all be completely honest about what I'm using and I also try to break down a little bit of the scientific aspect for you all so you all know exactly what you're using on your skin so if you're new here take a moment and hit the subscribe button and join the Sara squad and also don't forget to hit the bell icon right next to it so that every time I upload a video you get notified with that let's dive straight into this I think the first very established step that needs to be done especially when you're dealing with recurrent acne or maskne is cleansing your face but not over cleansing it as well so I make sure to cleanse my face twice a day the first time is in the morning as soon as I wake up I need to get rid of all the oils that have accumulated on my face overnight and also be able to wear my mask on a clean face and then after I'm back from work and I've removed my mask finally at home that is when I cleanse my face once again so that I take away all that excess oil and sweat that has accumulated on my face the cleanser that I swear by and literally use in every single one of my videos and I love this one this is by Dermaviv it's their Hydra cleanser it has Avena and Sativa seed powder the reason I love this so much is because it's fragrance free as well as soap free so it's not harsh on my skin at all Cleansing my face twice a day every single day is like over cleansing at times for your skin if your skin is very sensitive which mine is. So something like this which is very gentle for my face works really well because it takes away that gunk, that oil, that sweat, everything that I'm looking to remove from my face but at the same time does not overly strip my skin off. So it's not really exfoliating or taking away the dead skin and all of that. I don't really want my cleanser to do all of that. I do use other products to exfoliate and I don't want my skin to be over exfoliated right. So that is why I love this cleanser. I swear by it. And if you have sensitive skin or you're dealing with recurrent acne and you want to keep your face clean, then I highly recommend this. After my face is clean in the morning time, before I'm wearing my mask, I don't really go in with a moisturizer in the daytime at all. I will use a serum. I will use a serum according to my skin area of concern. If you're looking to target your acne scars or acne marks, you can check this video out on my channel. It's the five things that help me with my acne marks. So that is how I am currently dealing with these acne marks right here. So I will end up using a niacinamide serum or a vitamin C or even my body shop tea tree serum in the daytime before I go in with my sunscreen. So sunscreen is definitely something I swear by. I do highly recommend that you use your SPF and use it in high amounts in the daytime before you put on your mask or whatever it is you're using for work even if you're wearing a scarf. That is because not only is your SPF helping protect your skin against the harsh rays of the sun but also your acne marks that are being left behind they don't hyperpigment that badly you know. So I do have marks and because we are brown skin we hyperpigment quite easily like even our acne that is currently healing over here is leaving this black very pesky mark on my face and literally have equidistant acne marks right now it is very prominent and even with concealer hardly does it get hidden but just by the use of sunscreen the pigmentation is not that bad I don't get the chance to reapply my sunscreen which is why I try to use SPF 50 or 40 the two sunscreens I swear by are these two the first one I have is the bubble farm sunscreen that I have been loving this is the ultra daily shield this is only SPF 40 but what I love about this is that it's super moisturizing it's very hydrating for my skin so I'm not using a moisturizer right in the daytime so then this product really helps my skin get the adequate amount of moisture also make sure if you're using sunscreen you're using literally one um, what is this called like this portion bharke you're using sunscreen on your face because utna protection milta hai don't use just one tiny dot of sunscreen usse kuch nahi hone wala it's as good as using nothing and I also swear by the UV do SPF 50 you can see I've used up the complete tube of this it's a matte sunscreen so if on the day like now winters were going on that's why I was loving the bubble farm one because it's moisturizing as well but as we are again going back to the summer something like this is great because it's matte it's super matte okay 
like it'll just blend into your skin not leave a white cast both of these don't give you a white cast so it's very very good very friendly to be used no chip chip no jig jig at all even the bubble farm one doesn't sweat or leave those white sweaty droplets on your upper lip nothing like that will happen with you i love these two sunscreens highly highly recommend them so that is all that i do in the morning time before i wear my mask and that is all the care i take for my skin in the daytime so the only day i get a chutti is sunday and that is the only day my skin is actually getting to breathe and i'm not wearing an n95 mask so that is the day i go in with that extra added step and do a little something to get rid of the congestion jo bhi meri skin congested ho gayi hai pure hafte mein wo sara congestion mein clear kar deti hu sunday ko taki Monday I can start fresh and with a like you know clearer skin my pores are clearer so then I go in with my exfoliation and masking on Sundays so for that I have been using these two products both are by Dr. Shades but hashtag not sponsored you know I love them and trust them with my active skincare and this particular product I absolutely swear by this is the Dr. Shades Neem and BHA Spot Clarifying Serum it's very very diverse this serum has 2% salicylic acid in it so it's great even to clear out your pores I did mention it in my blackhead clearing video as well i use this for my blackheads just on my nose as a mask or i will use it all over my face this is great when you have those pus filled pimples you know you get those pustulated pimples jisme pus bhar jata hai this works really well for them you can just use it as a spot and sleep overnight to overnight wo dry ho jata hai ya to you can use it as a 5 minute mask which is what i do on sundays i will just apply it as a mask let it do its job of exfoliating for 5 minutes and then 5 minutes later i'll wash my face off and then after that i go in with the clarifying sulfur face mask by then so this does the great job of just clearing my face like a clean slate clears my pores out. Out, just takes away all of that gunk excess pollution whatever has accumulated on my face deep in my pores just takes all of that away it's not an overly drying mask so if your dry skin as well you can use it it's really like on the balance that when you wash it off you don't feel like Like you know, all the multari mitti ke baad kaise lagta hai na ki all the nourishment for my face is also sucked out and I need deep hydration after that. Nothing like that. It's very simple, 15 minute face mask. Ye laga lo, 15 minute baad mood ho lo, and you're good. The step of cleansing and using a sunscreen is more of like a preventive measure to just keep my skin in good health so that acne does not surface on my skin that often. And that has really helped with my acne recurrence to reduce quite a lot. But using the mask and the Neem and BHA serum over the weekend is what. helps to dry out any acne that is currently present so both of those are like treatment products for the acne which is currently on my face it just dries the acne out and makes the healing process much faster another thing i use for healing my acne faster in the week is spot patch so i will use this under my mask because all my acne come in direct contact with my mask and the amount of times i'll remove my mask or if i sneeze in my mask or anything like that there's a lot of like dirt getting accumulated and it's coming in direct contact with the pimple so if i have any on going pimple in the week i will definitely use a spot patch underneath my mask i keep them stored in this packet i have done a dedicated video on this spot patch i will link it for you all here how i use it what you're supposed to do with it and how it's beneficial for your skin and everything is mentioned in that video so these are the ones i use most often there is one big sheet that you can use if you have like a cluster of acne i don't really get a cluster of acne so i don't end up using that what i end up using are these little teeny tiny ones uh, the one i use the most is the slim variant because once you put it it's as good as you can't even see it it's very very thin sheet of hydrocolloid so it really helps or uh, heal the acne very well not only is it protecting my skin from the mask but also it sucks out all of that gunk from my pimple and when i peel it off at the end of the day the pus has actually come off on the spot patch so it really works like magic to heal my pimple so once i'm back from work and i've cleansed my face and everything just before i hit the sack and hit the bed i moisturize my face for sure even if i'm the most tired person on earth i will moisturize my face because in the day i'm not using a moisturizer and not using one at all is just not an option for me the one i use is the nutriderm vitamin e moisturizing lotion i swear by this as well it's really a great moisturizer it's not super lightweight also it is very very hydrating why i love and swear by this moisturizer is because it has vitamin e in it which is a potent antioxidant if you don't know it helps in collagen formation even better so any acne that is healing or just my skin in general heals better with this moisturizer so using this at night is the perfect amount of moisturization i need and then in the morning i wake up with nice 
and soft skin and then if I don't use a moisturizer in the morning my skin is not starving for nourishment because it got enough at night and with that I complete everything that I have been doing for my recurrent acne slash maskne situation you can see I don't have any acne touch wood alhamdulillah on my face right now I'm just dealing with the acne marks and they will definitely take some time to go uh, and I'm okay with that I'm completely fine with that I just want to share with you all everything that I have been doing in case you're facing a similar situation then you can try these products out because they have helped me quite a lot if you're dealing with a similar acne situation and you've done something that has miraculously helped you then let me know in the comment section I would love to know I'd love to try in the future if some of these products stop working for me or like other people can read your comment and get help so let's help each other out in the comment section if you like today's video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up for today's video the Sarah Scott shout out goes to Miss Moria thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel if you want to be a part of next video Sarah Scott shout out you know what to do hit the subscribe button bell icon right next to it and also leave a comment down below saying hashtag Sarah Squad and you get a chance to be a part of my next video Sarah Squad shout out thank you for being my family and I will see you in my next video bye guys love you Mwah.